am so hungry, I could eat a horse fly. Horse flies are scarce right now, Timon. In fact, most bugs are scarce now that rainy season is almost here. It's just an expression. Being hungry sure makes you cranky, Timon. You should try a more positive outlook. Yahoo! That was fast. Look! Meals on wheels! Reminds me, what's the last thing that goes through a bug's mind when it hits the windshield? Huh? It's his. <laughs> what's the big idea? Quiet, Timon. <laughs> That's a distress call, Timon! There are warthogs in trouble! I've got to help! Hey, Bubba! Wait up! Come on, Bubba! Wait up, will ya? Bubba! Gee, thanks for waiting, Bumba. Joy. What's this? Mooksville? That's the warthog sounder. The warthog water? Warthogs live in a family group called the sounder, Timon. Like a meerkat colony, but for warthogs. Yeah, yeah. Well, the sounder looks pretty safe and sounder to me. Foul. The warthog's natural enemy and worst nightmare! They must be after the sounder's supply of bugs. Let me get this straight. You turkeys are chicken of a bunch of chickens? Those chickens can strip the flesh off a hog in ten seconds. We're leaving. I can't leave, Timon! I've got to help! Answering the call of the sounder is my inborn instinct! Bubba, with you, everything is instinct! <laughs> oh, bad! Ow! Oh, I think I gave myself a hernia. Whoa! Bubba! Shh! Don't agitate the guinea fowl to moan! problem. It's useless. There's no one out there. No one to help. Let's leave. We can't leave. The guinea fowl will eat the bugs before we're an inch out the door. Not to mention us, too. And we never last through the rainy season without our supply of bugs. We'll starve. Let's stay! We can't stay! This riverbed will fill up in no time and we'll all drown! Enough! The storm is not upon us yet! Sorry. You're right. Yeah, sorry. Stop fretting and start thinking. You can't expect the solution to just fall right out of the sky. Ah! Entering distress call and ready for duty! 
Pumba? 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 Shala? Ah, Pumba, it's been so long. I see you've been voted head hard. But I've never forgotten you. Nor I you. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute here. Ah, time out. Hold it. Stop. Everything stop. Let me get this straight. You know her. She knows you. They know you. What's going on here? Timon, this is my old sounder. The one from which I was banished. You were banished for a reason, Mr. Stinky. You smell. Look, Pooba, we may be in trouble, but not enough to want you back. Well, you're a fine bench to talk. You've done nothing but twiddle your hubs. While brave and steadfast Pumba and his equally brave and steadfast friend risked life and limb to arrive here only with the darkness of night to protect them. Hey, she's good. Give Pumba a chance. He answered the call, and that must mean he has a plan. So, Pumba, what's your plan? The, uh, plan is, uh, we... Turn to Timon and ask him. He's the brains of the outfit. <laughs> to get rid of Guinea Fowl, you gotta think like Guinea Fowl. Now, think! <laughs> what are those chickens afraid of the most? Simone! <laughs> Don't you worry. We'll get rid of those fowl before there's a drop of foul weather! <laughs> Timon, stop with the funny and make with the brainy! Guinea fowl are nothing to laugh about! You've got to make them go away! Listening, Timon. Well then, I'll make them listen. You will listen to me. You will run a long, long, long way away from here. I will listen to you. I will run a long, long way away from here. Oh. Don't worry, I've got it. Oh, yeah? Got what? A guinea fowl distress call horn. I blow it, they'll think there's trouble, and boom, off they run. Then we make with the bug supply and head for high ground. <laughs> genius, huh? That's pure genius, Timon. That's why he's the brains of the outfit. Sound the horn, sound the horn. Go ahead, do it, do it, show him. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow the monsoons will start. We're doomed. Now what are we gonna do, Mr. Brains of the Outfit? Yeah, what? Eh, uh, yes. Uh, obviously, we need some kind of thingy that's big enough to carry all your bugs and yet fast enough to outrun the guinea fowl. Yeah, right. And do you know where we're gonna find this? Kind of thingy? Yes! This better be 
be good. You brought me all the way back out here for this? Talk about your fixer-uppers. It's perfect! Big enough to carry all the bugs, fast enough to outrun the guinea fowl, and broken enough to take us weeks to fix. Boo. Unless, of course, one of us were a certifiable auto-mechanical fixer-upper. you so long. Just a hug, baby. A hug who's got a thing for you. Always have, always will. Hey, talk's cheap. How about putting your money where your mouth is? It's about time you settled down, don't you think? So I'll give it to you straight. I want you back in the sounder. You belong here with us. You belong here with me. You're flying in the clouds, sister. 
You know I could never go back. I'm a wanderer, a lone hog on the road to heartbreak. But that's the hand I was dealt, so I gotta play it. Besides, you can't wear that thing on your nose forever! <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. Woo! Systems go! I guess this is it. I don't know what to say except. Excuse me! That wasn't you, it was thunder, which means it's gonna pour any minute. Would you come on? You'll see Shala at the rendezvous point later. Right now, we better haul bugs! Ah! Haul bugs! Ah! If I don't get on that Jeep now, I'll regret it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow. Maybe not the third Thursday of every other month, but for the rest of my life. Oh, Tumba. Ow, oh, police! Would you come on already?
Now what? That wasn't a distress call, Timon. That call means the trouble is over. Everything is safe and sounder. <laughs> you know, I don't even know why I helped you hogs out. There was nothing in it for me. What was the point? There was no point. No point. No point. Why, what do you mean, Timon? You get to have a hot meal? And you get to keep this cool Jeep! <laughs> Too right.